So what about a cure for multiple sclerosis? Howdy. I'm Aaron Boster, an MS neurologist in Columbus, Ohio, and in this video, I'm going to tackle that question. Don't turn away, because all of that starts right now. Hey! Howdy! Thanks for learning about MS with me, Aaron Boster. In this video, I want to tackle a commonly asked question. What about a cure, Doc? How do we cure multiple sclerosis? Grab pen and paper and let's jump in. As I record this video in 2024, there is no cure yet for multiple sclerosis. However, there are two ways that hypothetically we could cure the disease, hopefully in the near future. The first has to deal with preventing the disease from occurring. We have clarified that in order for a human to develop multiple sclerosis, they have to come in contact with a virus, very likely Epstein-Barr virus, EBV, or mononucleosis, the kissing flu. Now, EBV is very, very common. A recent study clarified that 95% of Americans have been exposed to mono. That doesn't mean that they had symptoms, but when you test their blood, they have had exposure to mono. That same study clarified that nearly 100% of people impacted by MS have developed mono, and that is highly statistically significant. And it buttresses prior work, which does suggest that mono exposure is one of the required steps to get MS. So, what if we developed a vaccine against mononucleosis? We've developed multiple vaccines which prevent infections from occurring, like measles, mumps, and rubella. And we vaccinate our infants with vaccinations that prevent them from getting that infection. If hypothetically, we could successfully develop an EBV vaccine and we administered it to a generation of infants, hypothetically, those people would grow up, never be able to contract EBV and thereby not be able to develop multiple sclerosis. The good news is EBV vaccines are in the works. A different hypothetical approach to curing MS would be treatments for someone who already has the condition. And I would submit to you that we would need three kinds of medications to cure the disease. Today in 2024, we only have one of those three. The first one we would need would be a neuroprotective agent, something to pro protect the nervous system from accelerated brain volume loss and from the inflammatory damage. Now, we have not been able to develop that yet, but there are many, many investigations targeting neuroprotection. The second treatment that we would want to have is something called remyelination, where you place the plastic back on the wire. You put the oligodendrocytes, the myelin, back on the axons. And again, that is works in progress. Today, as I make this video, we have not yet been successful doing that, but there are many, many international labs studying that exact question, and we remain very, very hopeful. The third thing that we would need to cure MS, we actually do have, and these are anti-inflammatory agents, like the current disease-modifying therapies to prevent new inflammatory attacks, causing lesions and causing attacks. Hypothetically, if we could bring all three of these types of therapies to bear, neuroprotection, remyelination, and anti-inflammation, we could hypothetically cure the disease. Now, whereas today we're not able to cure multiple sclerosis, we can do something which is very, very awesome and very, very important. In the modern today, we can make MS boring. If you think about another autoimmune condition, diabetes. Diabetes used to kill people. They would die from renal failure when they had diabetes. We cannot cure diabetes, but we can make it boring. Now, it's not easy to treat diabetes, but with careful attention to diet and exercise and supplementation with insulin, etc., Someone with diabetes can live a normal life expectancy and they can live a normal life quality. And if we play our cards right today, we can do that with multiple sclerosis. With the earliest application of the most effective disease modifying therapies, with attention to cardiovascular risk factors like avoiding smoking, with eating smart and exercising as part of your lifestyle, we can make MS boring in the now. And if you would like to better understand how to do that, click the video that's on your screen right now. 